Hey guys, it's Rosie. Welcome back. Today, my parents and I are going up north to attempt the Huntington Ravine Trail on Mount Washington tomorrow. So we are taking the camper up and um, camping tonight and tomorrow night. Also, we should be seeing some fall foliage, so expect that. Um, apparently, the Huntington Ravine Trail is the hardest trail in all of the White Mountains. So I'm really excited, also kind of scared. We're doing this because we have just started the Terrifying 25, so the 25 most terrifying trails in New Hampshire, I think it is. So um, we have done a whole bunch of them already just by hiking the White Mountains and the 100 highest, um, but I've never done this trail, so I'm really excited. Of course, I've already hiked Mount Washington, um, but we might go up to the top anyway. Um, I haven't hiked it um, in the summer. We just hiked it in the winter when I did it before. I'm really excited to see what it looks like um, and see the foliage. I just have to finish packing. I'm pretty sure we don't have a campsite yet, so I know we still need to get one of those. So let's go finish packing. We are going to be going up the Huntington Ravine Trail on Mount Washington and hopefully we'll make it to the top. It's supposed to be 4,300 to get to the top um, elevation wise so that's a lot but I think it's only 3,700 to just go up um, the Huntington Ravine Trail. So I don't really know what we're going to be doing um, that way but I will keep you guys updated so let's get on the trail.
All right, we're home now and it's been a few days since we hiked, so it's time for my honest review. Um, I had a great time on the hike. My mom was getting me a little bit nervous with the pictures that she'd seen and stories she's heard, but um, I didn't get too scared before it, so I wouldn't like hype it up in your head because it really wasn't that bad. For me, I'm a very experienced hiker though and you have to understand that going into this because I would not recommend this to anybody who is not as experienced as me or even a bit less experienced than me, that'd probably be okay. But it was a very, very strenuous hike, so if you want to do the Huntington Ravine Trail, you have to be prepared to hike really steep. Um, and it's, it is very strenuous, like I said, and it's a whole body workout. The first part of my body that was sore was my wrist, which is really interesting because usually hiking, it's like my knees or my feet. But um, the Huntington Ravine Trail, you go up the Tuckerman's Trail and then turn right onto Huntington Ravine, and it's really pretty and easy for a while, and then you get to some kind of big boulders that kind of make caves. There's a really nice view from there. After that, you get up to this really, really long rock slide that you have to scramble up, and that was definitely the easy part, but um, it would definitely be challenging if you're shorter, so I probably wouldn't recommend this to anybody shorter than probably 5'4". I'm 5'8", and had some difficulty in some spots, but um, yeah, I'd, I don't know if I would recommend attempting this if you're shorter than 5'4". Um, the scramble was easy, like I said, but once we got farther up, um, there are these rock faces that you have to climb up, putting your hands and feet in little cracks. And I would not even try to do this hike if it's going to be wet, snowy, um, icy, anything like that. You have to make sure to check the higher summits forecast if you want to try this hike because it's really important that you have good weather or else you just won't be able to get up those rock faces. Um, in the beginning, the faces weren't so bad. Also, I don't think I would attempt this hike if you have a big fear of heights. I used to be pretty afraid of heights, but after hiking so much, I've gotten over it, I think. Um, but yeah, it could be potentially very scary to somebody who is afraid of heights because of your kind of dangling off of a rock face just by your hands and feet and you're still trying to climb up it with your hands in little cracks. Um, it did get rough in spots and you definitely have to be prepared to be a creative and kind of um, look everywhere. It is really tough hike. Um, with going to the top of Mount Washington, it ended up being 4,300 vertical, which was a lot. I'm still sore um, two days later and I'm not usually sore after hikes at all, so it was kind of rough. Also, it was nine miles, I think. We just went up to the end of the trail because you have to finish the entire trail for the terrifying 25 list. Um, and then my dad and I went up, I don't know what that trail is called, the one that just goes from the access road to the top from the end of Huntington Ravine. Um, and then my mom just went across on one of the trails, I don't know what they're called, but it was super crowded at the top also, just to point that out. Um, but yeah, Huntington Ravine was a really, really fun hike. Um, usually I get a bit more like stressed and kind of dreading hikes, but this one was super fun and interesting because it wasn't like, okay, I'm setting out, it's gonna be a super long hike and hard. It was more of like, okay, so how do I do this? It was more like a mind game, um, though it was very physically strenuous. So yeah, I hope this helped you out. Um, on the review of the terrifying scale, which my mom and I have been doing for the other terrifying 25, I would probably give this like six and a half out of 10 on the terrifying scale. Um, I don't really know how terrifying they're going to get, so we'll see and you guys should make sure to check back for more terrifying, terrifying hikes. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed um, watching me hike this and seeing kind of what I think of it. Um, make sure to check out all my social media at Rosie Revolts and my Etsy shop also at Rosie Revolts to see my Harry Potter robes that I'm going to list very soon. Also my Santa suit um, and my custom necklaces. Um, and check out my book, getoutdoorsbook.com. And I will see you guys later. Bye!